We've been working on Lesson 2 of Chapter 2 in our math book, uh, starting on page 76, and we're adding positive and negative integers. And it's been kind of throwing us for a loop here. So let's take a look at some. Let's say I have 4 plus negative 3. I'll put these in parentheses just to separate that. So that's kind of thrown us off. We did the number line thing, and that helped some of us. Let's look at it a different way. So let's say I've started out with four positive dollars. I've earned four dollars, and this represents positive money that's coming in, these yellow chips here. And I got four of them. But I just got added a bill for three. And when we say I'm in the red, it means I owe more. I owe something. So these red chips indicate I owe three. Okay, I got that added to me. So I have to. These have to be settled up and taken away, and or paid for. I like to think it. So this one has to be paid for with one of my positive dollars. This negative dollar takes away one of my positive dollars. And this negative dollar takes away one of my positive dollars. How much money am I left with? Just one. We also talked about when the two signs are different, we're adding a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive. The signs have to be different. We can look at which ones. We look at the difference. And whichever integer is larger, the positive or the negative, that's going to be the sign of my answer or my sum. So in this case, the positive number is larger, so my answer is going to be positive. What's the difference between 4 and 3? 1. So did I earn more or did I lose more? I earn more. It's going to be by how much? 1, positive 1. Let's try another one. We'll do it that two ways. Let's go 2 plus negative 1 simpler problem. 2 plus negative 1. So I get positive 2, but then I get a negative here. So you're taking away, I'm adding a negative bill, and that has to take away. The negative gets paid for by the positive. I owe a dollar, i got to pay it, it goes away. I'm left with 1. Let's do another. So 3 plus negative 4. So I have three dollars. Uh oh, but I get a bill for four. Can I pay all that money off? Well, I'll pay this bill off one for one, two, three. I still owe a dollar. I'm in the whole one. So my answer is negative. One, I still owe a dollar. Isn't that depressing? That's so sad. So three plus negative four is negative one. The red represents negative in the whole. The signs are different. Positive, negative. So I can say which is greater, the negative add-in or the positive, in this case the negative. And what's the difference between three and four? The difference between three and four is one. And I lost more money than I earned, so I'm negative one. So that gets us started a, a little different way than the number line of looking at adding positive and negative integers. We'll do one more. 